Live from the Watch Fox Studios, this is Watch Fox News at 10. Many people visiting a local cemetery today found their loved ones' graves vandalized. Good evening, this is Watch Fox News at 10. I'm Courtney King. Well, new tonight, Simpsonville police arrested a former police chief in connection to an armed robbery on Saturday. Deputies say it happened at 4 a.m. Saturday morning. The victim was taken to a local hospital. Their condition is unknown at this time. Anyone with any information on what caused the shooting is urged to call Crime Stoppers at 188-CRIME-SC. Well, a neighborhood in Newark, New Jersey, named a street after a Charleston 9 victim. Reverend Sharonda Coleman Singleton Way now sits at the intersection of Pine Grove Terrace and Grove Terrace. The university announced through a press release this evening the body of missing USC medical student Seth Thomas has been found. An Ohio teenager attacked by a shark is now home and on the road to recovery. That attack happened while vacationing with family here in the Palmetto State. Well, also today, a new law will impact local businesses. If they overserve alcohol, they can be liable for deaths or injuries caused by drunk patrons. Thank you, Sharon. New tonight, Lexington County Coroner Margaret Fisher identified the man who drowned at Lake Murray early Sunday morning. According to Fisher, Austin Carson was swimming with a friend near the Lake Murray Dam. Police in Arkansas are searching for a suspect following a shooting at a nightclub in Little Rock. It was a frightening way to wake up. Blaring smoke alarms echoed through the rooms and breezeways of a two-story condo in Somerville. In Pickens County, a woman is dead after she became trapped inside a home that caught fire. Fire happened early this morning at a home located on Popefield Road in Easley. $9 million had already been raised for the victims of the attack and their families. He said he expects donations to approach to $13 million. Well, the Columbia Police Department continues to look for an armed robbery suspect. CPD released surveillance pictures of him on Friday morning. The suspect disguised a part of his face while robbing the La Quinta Inn. 18 years later, his parents told him that they were not his biological family and that he had a sibling. Now, it was then that he began his search. Columbia Police Department arrested a man accused of shooting and killing a relative Saturday night. Massive power outages have taken place throughout Central America and parts of Colombia and Mexico. I'm hearing tomorrow's supposed to be pretty nice, right? I heard that somewhere. Oh, yeah, I said Was that. that. You? you got that from me. Yeah. Maybe. South Carolina has the lowest gas prices in the country. The average for a gallon of regular is 188. Still to come on Watch Fox News at 10 tonight, a Tennessee woman was told to cover up or leave the pool. Coming up, we'll see the scandalous swimsuit. Lighting off fireworks is one of the ways many people celebrate Independence Day, but you still need to be careful. She's not the first runner up again this year. She came back strong, winning a trip to Miss America while representing the Palmetto State. Family in Wisconsin got a glimpse of the local circus from their front yard. But the man's frustration actually turned into laughter after a neighbor showed him video of the thieves in action. And that's because Tebow mania is coming to an end here in the Midlands. Mike, what's going on? Watch Fox News at 10. Don't forget, good day, Columbia, tomorrow morning starting at 5. Have a good night.